see you. Hey, Paul, how are you? Hey, 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 hey. Now that I've thrown my hair all over the table. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. What in uh, South Side? Uh, I think I'm legally obliged to stay in the South Side, as opposed, uh, you know, as, as said in season one. But I think um, I think Jug's been dealt a hand a hand of cards that he has to learn how to play with, and he he can't he can't continue to give himself the illusion that that he's got a, an ace up the sleeve when he doesn't. With Archie, meanwhile, one of the weird things here is that your mom just wanted you to go to Chicago. Yeah. So with something happening to Fred, to Fred is there a threat of pulling you out of Riverdale too? Hmm. Um, I I don't think so. I think Archie is is going to 100% always stick by Fred, especially when he needs Archie. Uh, Fred's got no one else to look after him at home and stuff. So that also is a big part of season two. Is uh, Archie pretty much aiding Fred, um, you know, whether he's, it's, it's a, it's a tough situation because he's still a we, single dad, I guess. We don't have, we don't have got many scenes <laughs> <laughs> and with Molly, like we, 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 I didn't really work with her that much last season, but it'd be cool to have her back more for season two. So is Archie going to turn to somebody now that Fred's, you know, in the hospital? Like, is he going to turn to another character? Um, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it's still unclear whether Fred lives or dies, but it's it changes everything. We see a completely different side to Archie for season two. Yeah. Well. I, I don't know if it's necessarily their relationship with Cheryl that informs that. Like, we had sort of understood Archie's punching through the ice as like a hero complex. He would have done that for anyone. I like that. That and Jughead getting pummeled is because he's probably used to it. And I, I think like our relationship with Cheryl is like the relationship you have with the most popular kid at school not being the most popular kid. Um, but the end of season one is a very under... Like, we now know what makes her tick. All of us in the town knows what makes her tick. So there's definitely a, a greater understanding there. I mean, it's not like we... It's not like we see her as, as the criminal. We see her as the victim. Um, so it's understanding, I guess, more than ever. I think big time. It changes its relationship with every character on the show. Um, season two is very much a uh, season two is very much a, a narrative between um, the north side and the south side of Riverdale, and the kind of brewing tension in feeling agencyless and. It's going to force all the characters to pick a side, and Jughead stands in a very, very compromising position with one foot on the north and one foot on the south, and having to figure out what he's going to do and what side he's going to pick is going to be what informs his relationship with every other character. You know, in, a, in many ways, the, the kids mirror the parents, and... Jughead is being, like I said, dealt a hand of cards that, that is going to force his action.